हेलो एवरीवन यू आर ऑल वेलकम टू लेक्चर नंबर 1063 टुडे टॉपिक इज द केमिस्ट्री ऑफ प्रोसेस ऑफ मेकिंग हनी बाय हनी बीज एंड हनी इज वेरी वेरी पॉपुलर ग्लोबली बट इट हैज सम मिथ आल्सो दैट आई एम गोइंग टू क्लियर Uh, the chemical myth of its medicinal value that's why i have not mentioned that mostly when people are discussing they are only discussing the medicinal value and medicinal importance of honey and lot of long list they are giving that is scientifically not correct because lot of things are still in believing rather than scientific uh, analysis so i am going to uh give the making of the uh, honey actually the process of making of the honey starts from nectar nectar is a type of a sweet uh, liquid from the flower which contains more than 80% water it is highly diluted and it this nectar it contains uh water as well as uh some other uh, flower material in it and this uh, nectar is sucked by that is uh, honey bee and let me make it clear here that the nectar of the flowers they differ that uh, uh, liquid which contains more than 80% water for example in maiduguri or in borno state in north area i have seen that all the honey they are dark in color and in books in literature they are mentioning that it is slightly yellow golden color that golden color once this honey bee they are collecting from yellow flower that nectar then it is having yellowish color so the color code of the uh, honey differs from place to place and its constituents also is not that all the honey from the chemical point of view is same no their color coding their percentage of antioxidants enzymes anti inflammatory compounds they differ it depends from which source it is collected and also it tastes for example in borno state there are a lot of acacia arabica azizi first flowers so it is collected from uh, those flowers also eucalyptus is there from eucalyptus flowers so once they are collecting from these different type of flowers definitely the taste and color will uh, differ so what is happening let me show you the honey bee uh, i mean rough diagram uh, it is uh, like that one part and then other part is like this and uh, like this and here wings so actually the honey bee is a mouth so it is having honey bees is actually it is having two i call it two stomach first and second the in books they are mentioning that is second stomach i call it honey stomach honey stomach so what they are collecting the nectar they are storing there in this honey uh, stomach and in this honey stomach that is the complex molecule of uh, carbohydrate sugar it contains uh, glucose and fructose and here the breaking down of that nectar liquid starts and that nectar liquid i have already told you it contains more than 80% uh, water and this uh, honey bee it has its 
very special uh, behavior or energy. For example, its uh, speed is 24 km per hour. And the life span of honeybee is from four to six weeks, uh, around one and a half or two months. That's how that is span of time. And within that time, the honeybee uh, used to uh, fly to millions of flowers and to collect 500 gram to manufacture 500 gram you have to collect a nectar from 2 million flowers so once they are visiting 2 million flowers only then they can get 500 gram of uh, honey and how it starts once this uh, honey and uh, the bees are of three types. One is called queen, other one is called workers, and third one is called drone bee. It is worker. So queen is only one, and that is called the full is called bee colony that is honey bee colony so honey bee colony will be having only one queen the workers may go from 70 to 80,000 and drone bee uh, that is roughly 2,000 so this is the whole bee colony, uh, roughly it will be if you plus minus up to 100,000, one colony. And in one year, this colony can produce up to 45 kilogram of honey in one year. Now, the, how the process of manufacturing starts? So first once the nectar is collected that liquid and that liquid is actually produced by flower uh, glands, sweet gland and that sweet gland is producing that type of liquid and that liquid is sucked by the mouth of the uh, honeybee uh, that is very special type of species of honey that is epi that one is uh, doing this one and then once this bee, once their stomach, this honey stomach, and this is your actual digestive system, that is stomach one, one, and this is stomach two, two. So once it is overloaded, it is full, then that honeybee will come to hive or honeycomb, and honeycomb and honey. Uh, hive is having similar uh, meaning but only difference is that when I say honey hive bee hive that is and beehive and honeycomb actually if I say beehive uh, beehive means here uh, the indication is that, that here the bees are taking care of their young and all those uh, eggs and uh, that is uh, some very young uh, bees are there and some pupa and some larva they are taking care of that that's why it is called hive actually we can say it is a type of nest for uh, 
honey bee. Once we say honeycomb means it is very very interesting. Uh, I can say architect hexagonal. Even I am not able to make very proper hexagonal by hand, but honey bee can make this type of hexagonal uh, cells and these hexagonal cells they are ready to store the honey prepared so once they are uh, overloaded extra is there they will come here and they will discharge all those uh, nectar in the cells in that liquid form uh, with the 80% water and other workers will be here. So the other workers also they will immediately uh, do their work and they will uh, ingest uh, all those uh, nectar which is uh, uh, discharged by this uh, bee, honey bee and what is happening here again they will go on mixing the enzymes go on mixing the enzymes one by one and also they are using their this wing this wing is used and this wing can do 132 uh, vibration per second so this is i mean very big role played by the wing here 132 vibration per second so it will help in quick evaporation of that water and when the water reaches to 20 percent and that means 60 percent water is evaporated in that uh, honeycomb cells and once it is ready then they pack it and this honeycomb is made up of that is called B B wax and then they will cover it and I call the honey bees the best architect and best builder because if you if you go and see the uh, honeycomb each and every cell hexagonal will be having same and they have the 120 angles so that maximum quantity of honey can be stored so what is there very clear picture i have given and here the interesting part let me tell you that uh, queen is one these workers they are from 70 to 80 90 thousand and their work is to fly take flight go to uh, different places to flowers fruits wherever they can get a nectar that liquid uh, sweetening agent and then they will bring it and there I have told you uh, their speed is 24 kilometer per hour with 24 kilometer per hour their flight speed is and they will be going on collecting and once it is filled then they will discharge it here coin is only one is resting and the other drone bee and these workers they are also female but they are sterile female they are not going to have uh, mating with any of the male and this drone bee they are male and they are around queen bee because their only work is to meeting the queen female so that uh, eggs and larva all those are produced or so they can go on producing the young one so that is the whole uh, process and in that process the very interesting thing is that that honey what we are getting now it is of two types one is called natural honey means that is directly extracted from the uh, honeycomb or bee hive both are having same meaning the only difference is that where the is it full of honey that is called corn and where the bees are resting that is hive sometimes there also uh, honey is there 
So uh, from all these sources, when they are extracted, they are natural form. In the bucket they used to bring from forest or from any place where they see the honeycomb. And that honeycomb natural one, they say that it is contaminated. And that's why they pasteurize it, they process it. And the processed honey is served in all the marketplace, packed with very beautiful packing. Uh, uh, made in India, USA, Thailand, Indonesia, many uh, countries are there which are processing, uh, pasteurizing. And that one is not good from its medicinal point of view. The reason is that natural one contains some traces of pollen grain, pollen, yeast also, they are, they are all the group of enzymes and also antioxidant. Pollen means different color and whatever yellowish color or dark color that represents the different type of uh, antioxidants, phenolics in it. So because of the presence of that phenolic, honey is medicinal, it is good antioxidant, it is good anti-inflammatory, it is good moisturizing agent because it is a uh, thick uh, liquid uh, and also the history of honey goes up to 5000 years. Even the honey they got from Egyptian pyramid because when they buried their uh, loved ones at that time honey was very precious sweetening agent. So they used to keep side by up to 1600 globally honey was the only sweetening agent naturally which they were using and everywhere uh, they love to add honey as a sweetening agent. But from 1600 when the sugar cane uh, process came, extraction of uh, sugar sucrose and crystallization started, then we started using crystalline sweetening agent like table sugar. So this is the chemistry. Very interesting chemistry of honey, interesting part of honey bee, how it is manufacturing, how it is going there. And if people are saying that is contradictory, as a chemist, I will never accept and I used to tell people. Some people say to that extent the myth is given that if you have diabetic, take honey. If you have any problem, anxiety, depression, all diseases, they are all mentioned, arthritis or whatever, uh, rheumatoid, arthritis, arthritis, osteoporosis, uh, eczema, lot of things. But it's all myth. It is not having any scientific uh, proof or there is no any statistical data. The only thing is that what scientifically uh, the chemists like us who did the analysis, on the basis of analysis, the it is the concentrated form of where it contains 18 to 20 percent H2O water and it is the mixture of fructose and glucose. It is a sugar, simple sugar because that uh, nectar what uh, honeybee is getting by mixing up lot of enzymes with enzyme action, it is broken down into simpler one. Complex means it can be uh, sucrose, maltose, galactose and all those ones, they are broken down into monosaccharide, means glucose, fructose, glucose, fructose. So it is the mixture of concentrated form of glucose, fructose, plus, that is very important chemistry, plus enzymes, plus yeast, plus pollen grain, plus wax. So these are all ingredients in natural uh, honey. That's why natural honey is medicinal, it can act as antioxidant, it can be useful for your cold and cough because antioxidant material is there, it can reduce drastically the free radical, it is anti-inflammatory and people are saying that if you put on wound, it is wound healing, it can do wound healing in the sense that it is having antioxidant, anti-inflammatory phenolics that can help in that. But other things what they are mentioning that it is the med best medicine for 90% diseases. No, it is a myth. Secondly, it is myth and even harmful. 
if someone is suffering from diabetes and they are saying that if you take one teaspoon of uh, honey it will uh, reduce your uh, blood sugar blood sugar is sugar which is uh, glucose is uh, circulating in your blood and what is happening that your blood cells they are not able to get them inside insulin is not uh, able to push that glucose molecule in the cell so that it can be converted into energy and again when you are taking honey you are going to add more glucose molecules in excess so that is myth is not scientifically correct and otherwise simple thing what scientifically we have done the analysis and everything on that basis i am telling you so best thing is that uh even people say that it is very good for as to use as anti allergy no wherever there is pollen grain wherever there is yeast wherever there is enzyme natural enzyme i don't think that it will be good for allergy it is good as an antioxidant it is good as an anti inflammatory it is good as a moisturizer because it is condensed it can uh, protect the skin and for indefinitely it cannot be fermented that's why thousands of year honey can be kept in the same way so these are all the fact and chemistry of honey so if you are using honey please check scientifically and only then you should use don't use it blindly on the basis of faith or on the basis of religion or on the basis of any type of spiritual man is saying anything so i am going i am not going to give the summary because it is enough to listen this lecture and you will understand the scientific uh, secrets the chemistry of honey how it is manufactured and all these processes i have discussed to the best of my knowledge thank you very much wish you all the best